a deep side part and then from that side part I'm going to come over about two inches and then forward another inch and then I'm going to come straight back kind of jet over about a half an inch and continue straight down the back of her head. I just like how a side part looks in her hair. Um, you could do it straight down the middle if you wanted to. So I'm just adding an elastic at the corner of this front section. And the next thing I'm going to do is make the hair a little bit damp, use a little bit of gel to comb through, and then I'm going to comb out the hair and we are going to create a tight three strand braid right at the nape of the neck. You want to keep it really close to the back of her neck and then keep the braid tight as you go down. It will stay so much better all day long if you keep it tight up at the top and then as you braid down. So I'm going to braid down to the bottom of her hair. Her hair is damp. I've combed a little bit of gel in it. This will prevent flyaways and it will also prevent the hair from splitting out as you braid it down. When you get to the point where you can't add much more hair in, we are going to secure it with a, an elastic. I'm then going to come back to this front section that I have already ponytailed off and we are going to create another three strand braid. This braid is going to come down to go into another uh, pigtail braid. So you want it to come all the way down to the bottom and then you're going to continue it for about another inch. So you'll see that it'll reach down to, to the bottom area and I'm continuing to braid just a little bit. And then I'm going to add an elastic and put this out of the way for a second. Our next step is just to spray this hair down on the other side and make it nice and smooth with a comb. And I'm going to repeat what I did on the other side. I'm going to split the hair into three pieces, keeping it really nice and close to the bottom of her neck. And then this braid I'm going to add to the middle piece. I'm going to bring the outer piece over first and kind of pull the middle piece down in so that that braid gets tucked down into the other braid that I'm going to do. And then I am going to bring the other strand over. Now it's really important that you bring that outer piece first over when you are doing this three strand braid. It's going to stay much tighter and you're going to get a much better effect with that uh, middle braid being tucked into the bottom braid. So we're going to come all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to add an elastic and that is our finish style. It's a really cute and easy one. It's great for school, dance, gymnastics, or sports. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and we will see you next week.